been a while, right? Finally got the game review or review or impression. Basically, I don't want to call it a review because this is just my point of view of this game. But here it is, Pokemon Shield. You either have to Pokemon Sword and Shield. Basically, my girlfriend and her daughter got the sword, so I got the shield, so I got the incomplete play of this. So I've completed my Pokedex, caught everything available, and I'll get to that later. But, are you ready? Let's get into this. Welcome everybody to Sword and Shield. This is the shield version. Walking through town, as you can see the graphics are much better than previous Pokemon games. I'm going to take in just the first area of grass. Just so you can see it. See, you can actually see the Pokemon roaming in the grass. As you can see, there's exclamations in the grass. That's also Pokemon. Bottom right is what the original game would look like, so you'd actually have to walk back and forth in the grass to see them. So, you get a basic gist. Well, before I get into the video review, basically, look around me. This is all stuff that I had from when I was younger, actually. Most of the people playing the game have probably stayed with the game since the inception. For me, I kind of dropped out just at the beginning of Johto, I would say, the beginning of the second wave of Pokemon, because we just started feeling kind of like, though, they're just going to keep adding more and more, so we kind of just dropped out of it. But let's show off some of the stuff I have from the original show, like back when it first came out. A lot of people probably remember the Burger King toy, right? Toy. It's more like a Pokeball with a gold thing in it. It's a Jigglypuff card, gold card. But yeah, other than that, I mean... Here's something from the beginning of Johto. A deli bird. And let's keep going here. This is all some this is all really old stuff here, because this is stuff I had from when I was a kid. And a small Pokeball. And it comes with a Lapras, but you probably can't see it from over there. I'll have to show up close up right there. And then a Pokemon Pikachu Pez dispenser. But Pikachu, give me one of those Pezes. Really? No Pez. Because you don't like me, huh, Pikachu? <laughs> and then a uh, stuffed Pikachu. You know what's funny about this one, though? This was an Easter item when I was a kid. Let's see, the year on it is 95. But back then, it had candy inside the Pokemon. <laughs> so that was actually full of candy. But we all know what happened to that. Long gone down the toilet by now. <laughs> Alright, but let's move on. And then a Charmander keychain. And this one's also 95. You get a pi the picture, right? I haven't kept up with it, so I'm not a complete expert on the entire Pokemon world. This is also the same, a Poliwhirl, original. And let's talk about games, like the original games we would play. It's in back of my Nintendo 4 Jack right now. I, pl I played this one live before. Pokemon Yellow. And then after Pokemon Yellow, let's put that back in there. Actually, let's take it out. There was the Pokemon Red, which is in a, in a case, because we definitely will take care of our games here. Pokemon Red. All right. And then you've got, of course, the 64 games. Pokemon Snap and Pokemon 64 Stadium. First one, not the second one. Definitely this one was worth it because you could play these two and fast forward. Like basically these Game Boy games hooked up to it, fast forward through the slow, slow walk. Big drawback of the original games. That was a time killer, that's for sure. And of course you gotta have the original book because we definitely don't lose those. That's the original yellow book. So this one goes to my yellow game. I have the uh, box for it too. And of course Everybody has to have one of these for great Pokemon, or at least in the original days. I'll have to show up a zoom up here. But it's the Game Genie. And it's hooked into my Game Boy. <laughs> yeah, you just pop this little baby in. Alright. And then you go into the code screen and put in a code. Why? Well, like this poster. You see the poster? I'll show a zoom up here. But you'll see it's really torn and worn out, and I've written all these little numbers all over it because that was the numbers you needed for the code for the game genie to actually get those particular Pokemon. I had to add Mew at the end. And then you can see to my left here over here, you got the original Pokemon blanket. And you can see I had a lot of Pokemon stuff when I was a kid. I got into that fad for a little while. And you got the Pokemon puzzle of the original 150. And as you can see, a lot of this is all the original originals. And then you've got 
my cards, of course. If anyone has the cards, that's the first thing anyone wants to hear about is cards, cards, cards. It's a trading card game. This book here, it's all just the trainer cards and energy cards. I have to keep them away from the others. And that's pretty heavy just on its own. But in this book, I don't want to touch the new cards. This is all my original cards. So basically, this is like the ones that are probably most sought after because they're original from the when it first hit America. So basically, I got a good amount of those cards. I think I'm only missing like maybe six or seven of the originals. But that's my original cards. And then, of course, keeping up with the trends, that's the current book. Trying to collect them all. You know what it is, gotta catch them all, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of them there, isn't there? All right. And then you can talk about new stuff, because these are the newer cards right here. So basically this is going up to the current, so I've been relearning the show, basically catching up on all these different Pokemons. I mean, everyone's been going crazy about these as of late. It's a Burger King meal, and it comes with cards and everything on the inside, so. Yep, we got these. <laughs> it's a Pikachu head. Poor Pikachu, he's been decapitated. And then, of course, they've even branched down to the cereals now. Pokemon cereal. And then, as of late, they've been doing Pokemon in the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I haven't opened this box yet, so I'm going to open this up real quick on camera. Get the pack of cards out. Ooh, I got a pack of cards. Pretty bad when you buy cereal to get only, what is it, three, yeah, three cards. Let's come up to the camera real quick. Try to get a good shot of it. So let's open it. Of course, every single one of them come with this particular card, the Pikachu. I swear to you, I've got like seven or eight of these now. Let's get a good camera shot of that. And Meowth and Farfetch'd. Literally, I think it's the same in every pack that you get in all those cereals. So be careful, don't get a whole bunch of cereal just thinking that you're going to get different cards. So I think I've gotten those three cards like 15, 20 times. It feels like I ate a lot of cinnamon toast crunch. Give me a break. But yeah, so as you can see, let me sit back down here. So as you can see, the collection is pretty big. And one more thing to show here. Let me get it under the table here because it's going to take a more than a moment to put it up. And I'm back. Cleaned it up a little bit so I can get these guys on the table. <laughs> so you can see them actually. First 20 VHS tapes of Pokemon. Which I'm sure this is probably the biggest one that people will talk about. I choose you a Pikachu. <laughs> but yeah, the first 20 VHS is basically the first part of the show. We did get into it to that point. But as you can tell, 20th tape is where we stopped. Basically that's where me and my cousins, because that's who I played a lot with when I was younger, would have been basically to that point. That's where Johto starts, basically, because they introduced Togepi in this sections back here. And that's a Johto Pokemon. So I'm sure we're all ready to get to the actual part, point of the whole video, talking about Pokemon Sword and Shield. So, shall we get into this? Welcome to the wild area. It's one of the areas you can explore in the Pokemon Shield area, and Sword, of course. So I'm just going to walk around and let you guys get a feel of how the game feels when you're here. Look, a wild onyx. Let's get his attention. Just fascinates me that you can actually see the Pokemon and interact with them without actually battling them. In every game I ever played, you had to walk in the grass to actually start a battle with them. But here you can just walk around and just see them. And of course, I mean, infinitely better graphics. So let's jump over here. Oh, look at that, Snorlax. Walking around. You'd think they'd have had him sleeping. And every game I've ever played, he's always sleeping somewhere in a pass so he can't get through. Major miss. Okay, and what we're going to now is a Dynamax Lair. Basically, this is where you can actually fight a giant Pokemon, basically. So you can try to capture them. So, let's get this part opened up here. It's fun to do either by yourself or with friends. Preferably friends, because these things could be a real pain in the butt, especially when they're 5-star raid. 
So when you're online, you can invite random people, or you can set up a code where you can actually invite your friends to play with you directly. Oh, look at that entrance. That's an entrance to the next city. And you'll see random people in the wild area and everything. Okay, so next I want to show you how it works with going online, how simple it is compared to playing on like an Xbox. So we're just going to connect the game to the internet. Instead of waiting minutes and minutes and minutes, whatever it takes to get online for Xbox, there, I'm online with the Switch. As simple as that. And one of the things I do have a problem with the game is the surprise trades. I know a lot of people do like it, where you could just get a random Pokemon and that, but for me, it's kind of like, I think if it wasn't for like, the people that hack the game and actually send out games or Pokemons with like a level 100, shiny, all that, it would be more fun, but... Hey, that's just my opinion, because I know somebody else that would really likes to actually have them like that, to get them. It's fun getting them. So it's a hit and miss for me. But even when you're online, look how fast the other players load. You'll see people just pop it up left and right. That's actually just other players from around the world. No lag time or nothing, just walking around and they just pop up. To me, that's pretty amazing, given I'm used to playing online with the Xbox, and it's like you usually got to sit there like five, ten minutes just to load one thing. So Nintendo definitely is doing better in that regard. So we're just going to wait for it because it's searching for an R player to do the surprise trade, just so you can see how it works. Oh, looks like somebody did the uh, surprise trade too, so that means I'll be getting whatever Pokemon that person just did. Oh, trade's completed. Let's pull it up so we can actually see what Pokemon I get. So I'm going to trade this routes and see what we get. I think we're going to get a Leopard. <laughs> That's a heck of a trade for me, because I just traded up, and the other person just got a route. I guess it could be fun cause in that regard, given that you're not getting this a random legendary Pokemon, let alone when you get something, if it's nicknamed, you can't change the nickname. I think that's an big downfall there. Alright, so we're just going to show these other Pokemon what I'm actually talking about. I'm going to click over to them. See, these are the ones I'm talking about. I've gotten these from Surprise Trades. You see how their name is like some sort of weird .com, level 100, automatically shiny normally. Usually come with a Master Ball. So yeah, if it wasn't for that little thing, it would probably be more fun for me. Okay, let's actually head into the city so you can see what a, a city looks like in the game. I mean, they took a lot of time with the graphics. There's no way you can deny that Nintendo doesn't do good with their graphics at this game. And load times aren't bad either. I mean, to load what you actually go into, it's pretty impressive. I mean, look at this city. That's the Pokemon Center right there with that Pokeball on top. I'm just walking around. I mean, look at that. It's pretty impressive for just a Pokemon game where we're used to playing on, a, like, above view. And one of the best things about playing on the Switch is that you can take it wherever you want. You basically can dock it and watch it on the TV and play it with the controller, or you can just take it like a Game Boy. So they do keep in the actual face of the actual Game Boy. Too bad I couldn't put a Game Genie on one of these. <laughs> I could get what I need. <laughs> but I don't think that happens. I think you gotta do other things nowadays, which is even worse, so... Don't recommend doing that. So let's get back to this. Alright, so I jumped over to being in the Crown Tundra. So basically this is a snow-covered area. Lower lands of the Crown Tundra actually have some grasslands, so it's not all just ice. But yeah, as you can see, it's pretty impressive. You could just walk around, just like the wild area. But not exactly, because the wild area is much bigger than this, because it's more of a direct path. So you could walk in the grass, find random Pokemon that way, or you could just look in the grass and see what's walking around. Alright, so let's zoom over here. Oh, look at the Eevee. I had to share this, because the Eevee is so cute when he's asking to play. He's almost acting like he wants to play with you. I'm just going to keep bugging him. Cute, right? Oh, let's battle him. Let's try to catch him at least. So you can see just a basic mechanics of trying to catch a Pokemon here. When my Pokemon jumps like that, that means his happiness is all the way up. He's my best friend. So we'll just do a quick ball, see if we can try to catch him. Without battling. Little Mother Fuhrer. He jumped out of my ball. 
And he attacked my Pokemon. Okay, he scratched him. Alright. I'm not gonna waste time here. I'm just gonna do uh, my weakest attack here. See if he actually survives given that the Eevee is level 60. Ouch. Uh, yeah, I kind of knocked it out. Poor thing. And if you can see there, the exponent share is actually throughout the whole game. It's not a special item. And that's an hour complaint I've heard from a lot of people, but I have no problem with that. Well, look at that, another walking around Snorlax, not sleeping. What's up with that? Alright, let's zoom ahead. We went up the mountain again. Uh-oh, look at that. It's Aurora's first stage. Isn't it so cute? It's gotta be one of my favorite fossil Pokemons now. Given if I had to choose a favorite fossil Pokemon, it'd definitely be these. And there's actually a Tyrannosaurus Rex one, too. I'm gonna keep doing what I did to Eevee, I'm gonna keep bothering it. <laughs> yeah, you can see that then our player just walked by me. It's funny how the, this particular Pokemon doesn't want to come and running at me. Some Pokemon will run at you and it, try to engage in battle out of the grass. Other ones will do what it's doing, it's just kind of like avoid you. You know, like talk to you. <laughs> But yeah, it's the best way to show the game off is by showing that. I don't think you could really explain how the game feels when you play it, given that you have to play it yourself to understand how amazing it is just to be able to look around for what you want. But there is one little problem with that, which well, I will address later in the video. Oh, look at that, a wild aurora in the wild, so that means I could catch that if I wanted to. I got my buddy and I got that one. Oh, look at that. Aurora's will attack you, so I had to walk away so he doesn't engage in battle. I just want to get them next to each other. Alright, let's zoom over here. Now this is where I'm going to show why I think the graphics aren't very bad in the game. Like, they're amazing to me. I mean, look at that. If you complain about Nintendo graphics, there you go. Complain about that. That's amazingly beautiful. And I'm sure in Legend of Zelda, they had even better graphics, because I've heard that game's amazing with that. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Pokemon Go! Yeah, we got into this a little bit. Here, basically, I say a little bit, I get, should say a lot because when you go into the game, we've been playing it for quite some time now. And the Pokemon, let me pull this up here real quick so you can see. But yep, here's the um, Pokemon Go. Just spin it around here, just to give you a little bit of a taste. Pull up the Pokedex here real quick. There we go. It takes a moment to get to respond sometimes. But yeah, you can see as many Pokemons we've collected. See? You can collect the Pokemons. So far in the game we've collected all the Kantos. We're literally two away from getting all the Johtos. So basically we've been going down the list collecting them all. There's a lot of Pokemon in Pokemon Go now. So if you haven't played it, and you haven't played it in a while, Give it a try. It's always fun just walking around randomly or going places and be like, Oh, look at that! There's a Pokemon! There's a Pokemon there! <laughs> yeah, so you get basically it's a collecting game. I think that's what all Pokemon really ends up being, is just for collectors. A lot of people like collecting everything. That's the biggest thing. I mean, look at every Pokemon thing you see around here back in the early days. Gotta catch them all. That's the biggest slogan they have. I don't know if they have it actually on the tapes. I do know they have it on the poker wrap and everything else where they actually say, gotta catch them all. You know what I mean? You gotta get them all. Yeah, I had to include Low Bunny. What other game could you have the Playboy Bunny follow you? I love that Pokemon. But there's one Pokemon I like better than Low Bunny even. But if I had to choose in this game, Low Bunny. Alright, let's show you guys a battle. I mean, that's another big part of Pokemon, right? So I chose this guy. He's. He wasn't the psychic gym leader at first, but then he's training to become one. So by this time point in the game, he kind of is. I don't know how to describe him. He's kind of like an understudy. So basically, I'm just going to do this battle so you can actually watch it and give a little bit of commentary. For you all that know about Pokemon, that doesn't look like Slowbro, does it? That's the Galarian version of Slowbro, so they actually have a different version of it. 
That light you see around my wrist, it basically means I'm going to be able to Dynamax once in the match. And so will he. He'll be able to Dynamax also. So to show you a picture of what Slowbro looks like in the original, there you go. And of course I chose Blizzard and it missed. And being that Aurora is part rock looking on a fighting attack like that's going to hurt him. He thinks he's the shit, doesn't he? And yeah, some Pokemon have special abilities like that where they can like have like quick draw in this case. So he got to go first. So he knocked me out before I can even do my attack. Alright, let's stop messing around. Since he's a psychic, I'm gonna put a ghost out. There we go. That's gotta be one of my favorite ghost Pokemon, Chandelure. His Pokedex entry is pretty creepy. If you want to look it up, do it, because it's definitely different. Now here we're going with the one KOs. <laughs> Helps when your Pokemon's level 100. Alright, we'll wait for the next Pokemon here. Not much I can say, you can just see it on the screen. Basically gonna run his team here real quick. <laughs> and sadly, he is one of the stronger um, trainers in the game. That's why knowing the types and what they're weak to that definitely helps. We actually had a paper next to us to tell us what type is weak to what, just so it made it quicker. Because they've added types from since the beginning, like fairy type and the dark types. And it does actually throw a wrench into some things. This trainer basically has all psychic Pokemon, so these ghost this ghost attack's just gonna obliterate him. And here's the Galarian Rabidash. Most of you remember probably the um, original Kanto one where it's on fire. But this one it's a fairy. So it's like a unicorn! And I just obliterated it. <laughs> Poor thing. And then Slowking. So he's gonna put out the Galarian Slowking, so it's gonna look a little different. But just for shits and giggles. Let's put out Aerodactyl, even though he's weaker to it. Cause I know in this round we're gonna be Dynamaxing, so that means the Pokemons are gonna be gigantic. Here comes Sloking. Almost looks like that shelter almost ate its entire head. <laughs> Wicked, right? I'm gonna do Dynamax and see there's Sloking from the Johto I just posted there. his Pokemon, of course. Yep, there you go. Two gigantic Pokemon about to do battle. But yeah, that lair that I showed you earlier, that's how big the Pokemons are. But your Pokemon is normally normal size, and only one person in a team can actually Dynamax for three rounds, basically. Actually, it's the same for battles like this, too. You only get three rounds in a giant form, and then you have to use a small form. Yeah, if you see a little bit of fizziness in the video footage, it's because my gra graphics card isn't the best. So I do my best with what I got. And of course my Aerodactyl's got leftover, so he's just going to recover himself a little bit. <laughs> and let's just end this. Try to do it first of all.
<laughs> yeah. A little dramatic, right? But yep, that would be a gym, that'd be a battle, basically, in a gym. But overall, you got so much you can do, even after the game's over. You can continue doing tournaments, you can still do exploring, you can do the Dynamax raids, you can do... Basically, they give you a lot of stuff you can do, and exploring the Count Crown Tundra and the Isle of Armor gives you a lot more Pokémon and do a lot more things. I mean, the base game itself, without those two expansions, would have been really small, I'd say. You only got 200 Pokémon. Uh, not 200, I'm sorry, 400 Pokemon. Only 400 Pokemon, even though it feels like 200, because it's like there's such a small part of the um, actual decks in it, basically. We all want one thing, I'd say. This is probably the biggest detriment to the game. After playing 160 hours of the game, that's how much time I've logged into it, hoping to collect them all, you can't collect them all. That's the biggest detriment to this game. There's so many missing Pokemon. I mean, I mean, crying out loud, why would you create a Pokemon game without that ability of collecting them all? So I've been sitting here waiting, it's like, okay, they did two expansions. Maybe they'll do a third one to get actually a complete game. It's kind of like getting a pizza and a pizza's only half there. It's like, what? <laughs> I mean, we need the whole pizza to enjoy it between everybody. But overall, I mean, it's just very aggravating to the point where I just want to... Oh. So let me just open up the Pokedex in the game. As you can see, the base Pokedex has 400, and the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra both have 210. But the, each Dex actually shares Pokemon too. So don't get me wrong, they do add some Pokemon in each expansion, but they do recycle some too. So you're not going to get every Pokemon. And of course every game has their own version of the Pokedex, which I wish this game had a national Pokedex so you can just feel like you're collecting them in order so you actually know which ones you're going to get next. So it does mix it up. And there's the final po Pokemon that you catch. And then the two legendaries, of course. But yeah, I mean, look at this. And they even have a Charizard. I mean, you can catch him. But you can't catch a Mankey. Isn't that ridiculous? Ash had Mankey. He had a Pidgey and Pidgeotto and all that, and they're not in the game. What's up with that? There's only one way to express this. To give you an idea, there is 231 missing Pokemon. Here we go. Weedle, Kakuna, Pedro, Pidgey, Pidgeotto, Pidgeot, Rattata, Raticate, with their Alolan form, Spiro, Spiro, Ekans, Arbok, Paris, Parasect, Venonette, why can't we catch them all? 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 Mankey, Primate, Bellsprout, Weeping Bell, Victory Bell, Geodude, Gravelin, Gola, with their Alolan forms, Dodua, Dodrio, Seal, Dugong, Drowsy, Hypno, Grimer, Muck, with their Alolan forms, Voltor, Electro. Why can't we catch them all? Why can't we catch them all? Chikorita, Bailey, Meganeum, Syndicro, Quillababa, Tylopiston, Totodile, Croconaw, Feraligator, Sentry, Furret, Ladybug, Lydian, Spinarak, Eridos, Marie, Flaffy, Amphrodos, Hoppet, Skiploom, Jumpluff. Why can't we catch them all? 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 Ape Palm, Sun Sunflora, Yenma, Murkra, Mistrevious, Unknown, Direfferage, Pineco, Forster, Flygoth, Snubble, Gramble, Teddy Ursa, Ursa, Slugma, Magcargo, Houndor, Houndu, Fancy, Dante, Stantler, and Smeargle. Why can't we catch them all? 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 Kuchiana, Mighty Yana, Warpful, Silkwood, Beautiful, Casco, Dustop, Taylor, Swallow, Surskit, Mascarane, Shroomish, Brelu, Slakoth, Vigoro, and Slot King. Makohita, Kariyama, Nosepath, Giddy, 
Stealth Caddy, Meditite, Medichamp, Puzzle, Minin, Volbeat, Volumite, Volpin, Swalot, Numel, Camelot, Boink, Grumpig, Cinda, Cacnea, and Cactus. Why can't we catch them all? Why can't we catch them all? Zangu, the Viper, cast form with all of its forms, Leclion, Shuppet, Bayonet, Tropus, Chiminko, Clamper, Hunter, Gorbite, Love Disc, and Deoxys with all of its forms. Kurt Twig, Grottle, Topera, Chimchar, Monferno, Infernape, Piplup, Trimplup, Empolia, Starly, Doravia, Staraptor, Badoo, Buffarrel, Cricketot, and Cricketoo. Why can't we catch them all? 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 Cranodon, Ramparodon, Shieldon, Bastiodon, Vermin, Wormadon, Mothman, Hatcherit, Fusel, Floatzel, Epipon, Miss Maggie, Honchko, Glamia, Perugly, Chingling, and Chaddon. Yeah, we're getting there. 231 missing. So let's keep going. Carnivine, Finion, Lumion, Yamega, Glyscor, Probopest, Dione, Manife, Darkrai, Shaman, Arceus. Why can't we catch them all? 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 Snivy, Servine, Superior, Tapig, Pignan, Embor, Oshawa, Dewa, Samurai, Pat Rat, Watchhog, Pansage, Simisage, Pansier, Simisier, Pampor, Simipor. Blitzel, Zebstrika, Sawada, Swadloon, Levenet, Ducklet, Sawana, Deerling with all of its forms, Sawsbuck with all of its forms, Alola Mola, Tynema, Electric, Electron, Maloetta. Why can't we catch them all? Why can't we catch them all? Chespin, Quillidin, Chestnut, Finnegan. Breakfast, Delphox, Froki, Frogadier, Greg Ninja, Scatterbug, Spupon, and Vivillion, Leo, Hyro, Lepepe, Loet, Florgeist, Skidio, Gogo, Furfro, Hoopa, Sticky Pete, Trumbee, Tucannon, Young Goose, Gumshoes, Crabball, Crabomidal, Oricorio, Minior, Mola, Fruction. Now, if you ask me, that is way too many Pokemon to be missing. So why can't we get the National Pokedex? The game would have been a great game if they just added the rest of the Pokemon. Missing that last bit of the batch, that batch. Waiting for Pokemon Day. See if they announce the third download. Nope. So now here we are stuck with a half a pizza. Or half a game, basically. Actually, it's three quarters of a game because about three quarters of the Pokemon are not. But, geez, not even Mankey, my favorite Pokemon. Mankey is my favorite. So, uh, they decide to create the game, and then how do they decide which ones weren't that good and which ones aren't good enough? So, we get to look forward to Diamond and Pearl, but... Kind of like, why would you get those games if you didn't even complete this game? How do we know if they're going to complete that game? Ugh, it frustrates me so much. No one I'm going to catch a Pikachu. Shh. I'm looking for Pikachu. Damn Pikachu, I'm gonna get him. Hmm, no sign of the Pikachu. Might have to blend in with him. Pikachu hat. Okay, let's do the famous Pikachu mating call. Maybe we can get it to come to us or something. I have no incense for some reason in this game to bring them to me in the wild. You know that? That's weird. Okay. Pikachu. 
Pika. Pikachu. Pika. You hear that? Let's get him. There he is. Got the Pokeball ready. I'm gonna catch him. Go Pokeball! Oh no. Oh no. No. Not that Pikachu. No!